Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at the Zankai Blue Piccolo here. This is the breakdown video for this guy. Um, I just recorded my breakdown video for the incoming GT Super Saiyan 3 Goku as well as Maju for the All-Star banner. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, um, I just recorded that video and I posted it before this one came out. So uh, go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. So right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys know on a little secret here. I don't think this guy's going to be that good. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused as to why they're releasing him. He has nothing to do with any theme going on. I mean, the current theme of this like sort of celebration is um, the Frieza saga. We had the Apul Squad. We have LF Full Power Frieza. You would have thought they would have done like a Frieza Force Zenkai or an Eloise Zenkai, but no, we get Blue Piccolo. Um, and then they go ahead and release a GT All Star banner. It's a very weird mishmash celebration going on right now. But um, because he is a range type unit. We're going to go ahead and compare him directly to the Super Saiyan 2 Adult Trunks. Now, is this Piccolo in any way, shape, or form going to be as good as this Blue Trunks? I'm going to go ahead and wager the answer is probably no. Uh, <laughs> um, but stat-wise, we'll be able to compare them here. So the Blue Piccolo actually has... These are these are good stats here. 280,000... 87,000 blasts. Uh, strike is a little bit low, but it's fine. So 287, 252... 283, 269, yeah, Trunks is way higher strike. And then for defenses, he's at 184 and 185. So his defenses are actually really, really high. Much higher than Trunks is. That's, that's, that's good to see. His health is also much higher. So in terms of his stats, they actually look very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by the stats. Okay, so now we'll get rid of Trunks and we'll compare sort of his pre-Zenkai main and unique abilities to the post-Zenkai ones. So... Prior to Zenkai, his main ability is a God's Wisdom. Nullifies own unfavorable element factor, 45 counts. All right, yeah, I forgot. Dude, this guy is so old, I forgot what he did. He goes type neutral on his main ability, 45 counts. That's actually still pretty good. Um, and he gets 50% of the blast damage, 15 counts. Honestly, this is not the worst main ability ever, <laughs> which is pretty funny. Um, this is a bit short. I would expect this to be a little bit longer, but... Certainly not bad. Um, yeah, that's literally what they did. They just made it longer. That's it. <laughs> and they reduced the... No, that's it. Yeah, they just made it longer. And they made it uh, all damage instead of just blast damage. I mean, I don't think them making it all damage is really going to make that big of a difference considering he's not really going to be doing that much damage anyway with the strike attack, right? But um, that is that is nice. So 50% all damage for 30 counts and then he nullifies unfavorable element factor for 45 counts. That's that, that's that's decent. I mean, considering how good his stats are, uh, that's something you'll probably want to pop earlier on, just because of how long it lasts for. So, I mean, 30 counts is long enough to where you can pop this, make use of it, switch out, switch back in, and he's gonna have the buff still. So, all right. So the first sneak ability prior to Zenkai is Intimidate Android, sustained blast damage up, inflicts a tag Android enemies with attribute downgrade plus 35% to blast damage received for 20 counts when this character enters battle. He also has this one, which is just straight up 50% of blast damage inflicted against tag androids. <laughs> so he's very, very hyper focused on destroying all androids. Interesting. So now uh, he gets Intimidate, Sustained Blast Damage up, inflicts all enemies, so no longer limited to just androids, with attribute downgrade plus 35% of blast damage received for 20 counts when this character enters the battlefield. And that's actually not bad. The reason why that's not bad is because this can apply to other units on your team as well. Like let's say for instance, you're running this guy with the LF Piccolo, the the, the uh, yellow LF Piccolo. Yellow LF Piccolo is going to be able to benefit from this because it's a debuff on the enemy. So that's actually pretty decent, um, unique right there. And then he has facing a new threat. He gets 50% blast damage against tag androids or future. So both. Okay. Then he also gets Silent Barrage. So this is the first new unique here. Applies the following effects to self when this character enters the battlefield. He gets 20 key, and he randomly draws one new card when you have three or fewer cards, which is actually not bad. Um, 20 key is not the most key ever, and um, this is actually decent, this, this one right here. I mean, you're, you're pretty much guaranteed to draw a card if you're in the middle of a combo with him. So, you know, getting 20 key, it's going to let you pretty much almost always extend a combo at least one extra card, which is okay. Um, if you want to, you know, combo that into a rush or something, you maybe you're, you maybe you're looking for your your seventh Dragon Ball or something to, to have to rush off of. 
Um, final unique ability here is the decision to fight. Unlocks it powerful. Applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. 30% damage and then 10% reduced damage received. Um, <laughs> this guy's certainly not going to be doing the most damage ever. 30% damage inflicted. I mean, I guess they want you to pair this up with this, right? It's, I mean, 80% damage inflicted with stats as high as these actually is not too bad. Um, and then on top of that, you're going to inflict enemies with debuffs. And if you're fighting androids or future, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. I mean, 30 plus 50, it's 80, plus 50, it's 130. If you're fighting an android or a future unit, like, this guy's going to be doing tons and tons of damage. So, uh, that is pretty good. And then 10% reduced damage received, not the best, but um, I think his stats for defenses are, are good enough, right? To where that actually might feel impactful. Tough to judge how good this guy's going to be. I feel like they actually made him better than I was expecting, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I feel like people are going to see this 30% damage inflicted buff and they're going to automatically think he's terrible. But uh, with this main ability pop, I mean, that's that's like literally the entire kicker here, right? With the main ability popped, he'll be doing good damage. But uh, without the main ability popped, is his damage going to be good? If you're not fighting an android or future t t uh, tag uh, enemy, probably not. But uh, this definitely is also useful here, so keep that in mind. Uh, the blue card goes from major minus 40% sustain, sustain damage cut effects for 30 counts to 100%. Okay, not that impressive. Green card goes from 10% of the blast damage inflicted by allies, so it's a team-wide buff. That's pretty interesting, and then cancels on Ashby, on Ashby down. I don't, honestly, I don't expect this to change at all. Um... He gains abnormal conditions on here, so if you're like paralyzed or something, that will clear that. That's it. It is. Oh no, it also goes from blast damage to all damage to allies. Okay, that that's an okay green card. I wouldn't say it's spectacular, but at least it's a stop time that you can make use of for like a rush or something like that. So, I actually would not say this is a terrible unit. <laughs> he actually ended up better than I thought he was. Now, is he as good as that blue trunks we looked at in the beginning? Certainly not, but he's uh, not bad. I would say. But um, he's buffing blue regen. You want to know why this is important? I'll tell you why this is important. I already have the regen pulled up. Th this. This is the reason why that's important. <laughs> I believe this is Kid Boo's first Zenkai buff. Let me just make sure. Actually, blue 21. Does blue 21 Zenkai buff Kid Boo? Maybe she does. Uh, let me just pop that. No, blue androids. Yeah, so I don't think Kid Boo got a, uh, had the Zenkai buff prior to this Piccolo coming out, which is uh, pretty scary because <laughs> that Kid Boo is ridiculous. So uh, that is pretty much it in terms of where he's going to fit on the teams. I mean, this is really, this is really is his only team, right, Regen? I mean, he's on Super Warrior, <laughs> okay? Sure, he'll fit on Super Warrior. Um, Regen, I mean, that's his only team, really. Namekian is in the team, Merging is in the team. So... I mean, regen is really the it, really it for him um, in terms of him being better than other units on here. Is he better than than Boo Tanks? Yes. Is he better than Super Baby Two? Yes. Is he better than Lord Slug? Yes. Is he better than Android Twenty One Zenkai? I don't know. Um, they fulfill completely different roles. Um, is he better than Kibu? No. Uh, there's just, just zero chance. But if you have this guy at fourteen stars, Zenkai Seven, and you have Kibu at like two stars, he's probably better than Kibu, honestly. Um, Anyone else on here? Uh, no, that's it. I mean, Regen and Blue really... They really didn't have a very good uh, relationship with each other for a long time <laughs> until this Blue 21 came out. Then we got Kid Boo. Um, but uh, I feel like Piccolo being Blue really does help him a lot because there's a lot of room on him, uh, room on this team for him to be useful on. If he was any other color but Blue, it would be a much different situation for him. But on specifically Regen, if you don't have Kid Boo, this is like your go-to blue unit almost. Um, him or the Genkai 21. So, yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for this pickle. Let me know down below what you guys think about him. Is he terrible? Is he good? Are you excited for him? Um, you you excited that he's a very specific counter towards androids? Uh, I, I mean, I'll tell you what, he's going to do a lot of damage to <laughs> Revival Cell. But uh, that's pretty much it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed and. Um, uh, the, the, my showcase for this guy will be up tonight, by the way, because he is coming up tonight. Actually, no. PvP resets at 5 a.m. Am I going to be up? Maybe not, because um, it is a long double RP season, right? So, 
Yeah, PvP is going to maintenance until 5 a.m. my time. Maybe I'll wake up early and do it. Maybe I won't. We'll see. But my, my, my showcase room will be up tomorrow, if not tonight. So with that said, I will see you guys all in the next one.